Well, hi, I'm Kevin Harney, and I'm the lead pastor at Shoreline Community Church in Monterey, California. I've been in ministry for about 25 years, and apparently that makes me a sage, or at least old enough to, to talk about what I would have done differently. And as I thought about all the different topics I could tackle, the one that came to my mind that seemed most important to me is what I would do differently in terms of outreach and really bringing the love and the message of Jesus Christ from where I serve as a, as a pastor, as a leader, from my own life and home to the world. And in my years of ministry, I, I kind of watched this evolution happen, and I think I've been growing in the right direction, and I hope it's an encouragement to you. Early on in my ministry, I would say the approach to outreach was simply this, money and prayers. Send money, send prayers, and usually send it somewhere really far away. The first church I served, we had a great mission program. We sent money, we prayed for the missionaries, and that was kind of enough. And I, I, early in my ministry, I thought, this isn't enough. This is good to send money, to send prayers, but it's not enough. And then over about the next four or five years, we shifted and tried a new way of doing things. And it's what I would kind of call a committee approach with building special events for outreach. And I know a lot of churches that still do things that way. They have a team, a committee that plans outreach, evangelism, missions, whatever you want to call it. And that team plans special events around Christmas and Easter and outreach opportunities and tries to bring the love and the grace and the message of Jesus to their community and to the world. Fantastic. And so what I've learned is, Keep sending money and prayers, have a great committee, and plan special events, but there's more. The next step that I've learned in the last four or five years I've poured myself into in terms of ministry is simply what I call organic outreach. Organic outreach is just the idea that outreach isn't something we do, it's who we are. It's not a program of the church, it is the DNA and the heartbeat of the church. Organic outreach is what God calls us to do and be on a daily basis as a church and as individuals. And so what I've learned through the last four or five years, and I've had the chance to train leaders from about 20 different churches. I've had the chance to write a book on organic outreach, and I'm writing another one for churches, another one for families. It's become the consuming passion of my heart, is to help people see outreach not as a project, but as a lifestyle, as who they are. And so in your local church, in your local ministry, how do you begin to make that shift? Is it possible to make outreach about the very heartbeat of your ministry, of your church? And I'd say absolutely, but some things have to happen. Number one, outreach has to be in the lifestyle of your leaders. You have a church board? Keep them all accountable for personal outreach. Every month when you meet with your board members, say, hey, talk about your personal outreach. Who are you praying for that doesn't know Jesus? Hold your leaders accountable. If you have a staff team, don't just call them to do outreach in the church. Challenge them to do outreach in their personal lives. Who are you hanging out with who doesn't yet know Jesus? Are you spending time with those who are still far from the kingdom, but who God loves and wants you to reach out to? And pour into your leadership culture, volunteers and staff, and then help them understand that within the church, part of their calling is outreach. I worked with one church that I was doing some training with, and they had a youth pastor who said, when I got hired to be the youth pastor, my job was to teach and feed and grow the kids that were believers. And now you're trying to tell me I'm supposed to reach out. And I'm a youth pastor. I'm not an outreach leader. And, and he missed the whole point. If you are a youth pastor, you are an outreach leader. If you lead the women's ministry, you are an outreach leader. You're reaching out to women. If you're a children's leader, you do outreach to children. Every ministry is about the Great Commission, the good news of Jesus Christ. And if it's not, it doesn't reflect the heartbeat of Jesus Christ. And if you want to have a church that really moves towards organic outreach, giving is part of what you do, but your budget needs to reflect, not just that we give away, but what we do right here to reach our local community. And, and if you look at your church budget and you say, you know, 90% of what we do is for us, the people that already know Jesus, then you're missing something. More and more we should look at our budget and say, we're not just about what we do for us, we're about what God calls us to do for our community and for the world. And every single ministry of your church, every ministry should have a heart for outreach. It should be organic. I tell people when it comes to sharing the good news of Christ, and, and we can train through every ministry. Children's ministry trains children to share their faith. Women's ministry trains women to share their faith. Men's ministry challenges men to share their faith in ways that are natural, organic, that just feel like, boy, this is who I am. This is what I can do. And, and so one of the ways you begin to do that is you, you begin to train and equip those you influence in your area of ministry. And you help them understand that sharing the good news of Jesus is not a chore. It's not something you do once a year on a mission trip. It's what you do day by day. You train people to share their story, their testimony, to share the simple message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
I've timed myself sharing the simple message of Christ. It takes about 35 seconds to explain to people our need, God's love, and the solution of Jesus Christ. And so train and equip all of your people. Don't be satisfied with sending money and prayers to the ends of the earth. Do it, but don't be satisfied. Don't be satisfied with having a great committee who plans special events for zealous outreach people. Be committed, starting now in your ministry, where you are today, to say, I want to make sure that all of the ministry I influence has an outreach focus and vision. And God will answer your prayers and will, will, will bring fruit from your efforts. And God will draw people to his heart and to his kingdom. I hope that's an encouragement to you in your ministry, whether you're early on or a long way down the road. God bless you and enjoy the rest of, the, of this program.